hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to crochet this very beautiful tulip so i hope you have your materials ready and let's get started okay so we're going to start with the petals and we are going to make three of them and we'll do the magic ring and then six single crochet into the magic ring so one two three four five and six okay i'll close the gap and then i'll put my yarn over here okay so now in the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll increase the first stitch okay increase the next one too okay and increase and increase also the remaining stitches okay so now in our third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and we'll keep repeating that single crochet increase single crochet increase and repeat all the way round okay so now in our fourth round we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet and you'll do your single crochets all the way round okay so now uh in our fifth row we're going to do five single crochet then increase and repeat three times for a total of 21 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and increase and we'll repeat that again five single crochets and increase in the next stitch and repeat that again one more time Okay, so now in our sixth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 21 stitches so we'll continue to do single crochet single crochets and you continue doing single crochets all the way to the end Okay, so now in our seventh row, we are going to do single crochet in the next six stitches and increase and we'll repeat that three times. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six and increase and we'll repeat that again. So six single crochets, three, four, five, six, and increase. And you repeat that again one more time. Okay, so after you're done with that, now for the next five rows which is from row 8 until row 12 we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 
24 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the 12th row so that we do the 13th row together okay so after the 12th row this is how our petal looks like so now in our 13th row we're going to start decreasing and we'll do two single crochet then decrease and then we'll repeat that all the way round okay so we'll do single crochet one two and then decrease so we're going to the front loop of the next stitch pull through and the back loop of the other stitch pull through and then we'll pull all the three loops together so that's a decrease and then we'll keep repeating that so two single crochets and decrease and you continue like that all the way round okay so after that now for the next two rows which is row 14 and row 15 we're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each row so we'll do single crochet single crochet single crochet and you continue the single crochets all the way around and also in the next round which is the 15th round so i'll see you when you're done with the 15th row so that we do the 16th row together after the 15th row this is how the little petal looks like so now in our 16th row you're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet then decrease and we'll keep repeating that single crochet decrease and you continue with that pattern all the way round okay so now in our 17th row which is our last row we are going to uh, crochet all the sides together so we're going to join this side and this other side so we're going to flatten both sides like that and then crocheting in uh, crocheting both uh, the sides we are going to start by doing single crochet in this stitch and the other stitch on the other side so we'll do a single crochet and then we'll continue do another single crochet okay and we'll continue all the way to the end Okay, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the other stitch and cut off my yarn long enough for sewing like that so that's one pedal and then you're going to make two more like this as you can see so I already have three of them so now I'm going to show you how to make the core which is the center part of the flower Okay, so for the core, we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, and six single crochets. Okay, and then now in our second row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat three times for a total of nine stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase uh, in the next stitch and then we'll repeat that again single crochet and increase then one last time we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch
okay so now in our third row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then increase and repeat two more times for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll do two single crochets so one two and increase And then we'll keep repeating that so two single crochets and increase and then you repeat that one more time okay so now in our fourth round we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat three times for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do Three single crochets one two three and increase okay and then you repeat that again uh, two more times so three single crochet increase three single crochet and increase okay so now in our fifth row we are going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat three times for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and increase okay and then you're going to repeat uh the same pattern two more times Okay, so now in our sixth row we are going to do single crochet in all the stitches for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet and you continue doing single crochets all the way round Okay, so now in our seventh row, we are going to do single crochet in the next five stitches, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 21 stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and increase in the next stitch. Okay, and you keep repeating that two more times okay so now in our eighth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 21 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochet in every stitch all the way round okay so now in our ninth row we are going to do six single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around uh, for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and increase and then you repeat that two more times okay so now after we are done with that now for the next six rows which is from row 10 to row 15 we are going to do single crochets in all the stitches in every row for a total of 24 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the 15th row so that we start the 16th row which is the last row together Okay, so after the 15th row, this is how our core looks like. So now in our 16th row, which is the last row, we are going to do single crochet in the next two stitches, then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, two, and decrease. And then we'll keep repeating that so 
two finger crochets and decrease and continue the same pattern all the way round okay so now to finish up we are going to go into the next stitch slip stitch and then cut off the yarn okay so you can stuff the tulip now i mean the core now or you can stuff it later when we've attached the petals here at the base so now we are going to make the leaf okay so for the leaf we are going to start with six single crochet into the magic ring in the first row so i already did that so now in the second row we are going to do single crochet in all the stitches for a total of six single crochets okay so we'll go into the next stitch and do single crochet and we'll continue doing single crochet in every stitch okay and do single crochet again and single crochet also in the last stitch okay so now in our third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that three times okay so i'll do single crochet then increase and i'm going to repeat that single crochet and increase and then you repeat that one more time okay so after that now for the next two rows which is row four and row five we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of nine stitches okay so i'll see when you're done with the fifth row so that we do the sixth row together okay so now in our sixth row we are going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and increase and then you're going to repeat that two more times okay so now in the next two rows which is row seven and row eight we are going to do single crochet in all the stitches for a total of 12 stitches in each row so i'll see when you're done with the eighth row so that we do the ninth row together okay so now in our ninth row we are going to do single crochet in the next three stitches then increase and repeat that for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and increase and then you repeat that two more times Okay, so now in our 10th row, we are going to do single crochet in all the stitches for a total of 15 stitches. So we'll continue and do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and do single crochet in every stitch round. Okay, now in our 11th row, we are going to do single crochet in the next four stitches then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three 
four and increase okay and then you repeat that two more times okay so now in our 12th row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so you continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet and continue doing single crochets all the way round okay so now in our 13th row we are going to do five single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 21 stitches so we do single crochet one two three four five then increase okay and then you're going to repeat that two more times okay so after you're done with that now for the next five rows which is from row 14 to row 18 we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 21 stitches in each row so i'll see when you're done with the 18th row so that we do the 19th row together okay so after the 18th row this is how your leaf should look like okay so now in our 19th row we are going to do single crochet in the next six stitches then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so single crochet one two three four five six then increase Okay, and then you repeat that two more times. Okay, so now after that, for the next five rows, which is from row 20 to row 24, we are going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 24 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the 24th row so that we start the 25th row together. Okay, so after the 24th row, this is how our leaf looks like. So now in our 25th row, we are going to do two single crochet, then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do two single crochets and then decrease. And then we'll keep repeating that. So two single crochets and decrease okay and repeat that all the way round okay so after that now for the next four rows which is from row 26 to 29 we are going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of 18 stitches in each row Okay, so I'll see you when you're done with the 29th row so that we do the 30th row together. Okay, so after the 29th row, this is how our leaf looks like. So now in our 30th row, we are going to do single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So we'll do single crochet and then decrease. And then we'll keep repeating that so single crochet and decrease okay and repeat that all the way round okay so after that now in our 31st row we are going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of 12 stitches so you continue and do single crochet single crochet 
and single crochet and continue doing single crochet all the way round okay so now in our last row uh, which is our 32nd row we are going to join the two parts together okay so both this side and this side okay so we are going to crochet single crochet in both sides Okay, so I'll make sure all the stitches are adjacent to each other. So I'll do single crochet. And then continue doing single crochet on both sides until you get to the end. Okay, and then I'll slip stitch into the next stitch. To finish up and cut off my yarn long enough for sewing okay so that's how a leaf looks like okay so now I'll explain to you how to make the stem which is quite easy so the stem is quite easy as I said earlier so as you can see so what I did is you start with six single crochets into the magic ring okay and then after you do six single crochet in the first row you'll do other 39 rows of six single crochets as you can see so no increase no decrease just six single crochets for a total of 39th row or until the 40th row or you can make your tulip longer or shorter according to the length you prefer okay and then after you get here at the 40th row I'm going to show you how to continue uh, to the 41st row okay and in the 41st row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat three times for a total of nine stitches so we'll do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch okay and then you repeat that again two more times so single crochet here and increase and then the last time single crochet and increase okay so now in our 42nd row we are going to do single crochets all the way round so you're going to continue and do single crochets single crochet and continue with your single crochet for a total of nine stitches okay so now in our 43 row we are going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then increase and repeat round for a total of 12 stitches so we do single crochet one two and increase in the next stitch And then you're going to repeat that two more times okay so now in our 44th row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we we'll continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet and repeat all the way round Okay, so now in our 45th row which is the last row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and then we'll keep repeating that so single crochet Okay, single crochet and increase okay, 
okay and you repeat this all the way round okay so after we get to the to the end i'll remove my marker and then i'll slip stitch and i'll cut off the yarn like that okay so now i'm going to show you how to assemble all the parts together okay so guys as you can see you attach the leaves first so this is how you attach them uh, like this so you attach the first one then skip two stitches attach the other one skip two stitches and attach the other one here at the very bottom so you're going to use a needle and your yarn so this is the kind of needle that I use it's the yarn needle okay and then after you attach the small petals over there you're going to stuff um, the core as you can see so this is how it looks like so we're gonna be uh, folding it like that or it can be open any way you want and then after that uh, for the stem I put a, a little straw here until the very end so you can put a, a wire or you can leave it like that it's up to you so and then after that here at the bottom we are going to attach our stem over here as you can see on the flower and then after that we are going to attach the leaf somewhere around there or down here so according the way you want your um your flower to look like okay so let's do that okay guys so after you've attached all the parts together this is how our little flower looks like you can see at the top and here the leaf like that okay and it's really a simple thing to do so guys i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and check out my other videos and until next time bye